I woke up to a very foggy morning and just thought how that sometimes represents our lives as homemakers. We can be so bombarded with all the pressures of social media, outside influences, other moms to just have this certain um, facade and I want to share with you today just how important your role is as a homemaker how not to feel that overwhelm, and how to just be present in the stage that you are at in your homemaking, whether that's a new homemaker, a single homemaker, a retired homemaker, um, just to know that your work is good. I start my day in the kitchen most mornings after getting myself ready, getting my diffuser going, especially the fall scents, getting my sourdough stirred and prepped, doing laundry that's always a must and just getting some good old classical music going after breakfast my girls went outside to snuggle under a blanket and i'm just enjoying seeing their enthusiasm for wanting to be outside and enjoying just even the cool brisk morning and so i thought it is my turn to go outside and enjoy my coffee and sweep up those crab apples brush our dog pet her some play with her while she's standing there enjoying the presence of us but just to know this is the day and honestly it makes me think of the song this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it that him um just every little part of the day that we have is something to be grateful for and joyful about planting tulip bulbs for the spring knowing that in six months okay a little longer than six months where i'm at we will have beautiful tulips blooming having my girls get their hands dirty in the wet ground and dirt digging with me and planting and just doing things with my kids not feeling the pressures of everybody else telling me oh I should be out taking them to this thing or oh I should be doing this certain um, activity but just enjoying what they get to experience in the outdoors and what we get to do in raising our own children and that is what i love about being a homemaker there's a quote from laura Ingalls wilder that i'm going to share so much depends upon the homemakers i sometimes wonder if they are so busy now with other things that they are forgetting the importance of this special work isn't that the truth of everything we are doing We are constantly seeing so much on social media that people are doing, how they are constantly um, incorporating new things into their home, making all these new dishes. And yes, that's so wonderful and fun. And I enjoy doing that as a homemaker too. But sometimes we can feel like we are not enough. And so just be encouraged to know what you are doing, whether that's just making one meal for your family today and nothing else, that is enough. And so also I just wanted to enjoy what the season had to bring. I still have zinnias and snapdragons and cosmos blooming, even though it's almost October, it's just been so warm that these flowers are still enjoying the weather. And I want to enjoy this season because it won't last and when February rolls around I will miss the bright colorful blooms and this just helps me not feel the overwhelm seeing this beauty uh, on my table that God has created brought in for our family to love is what I enjoy getting some basil and sage hanging on my accordion rack to dry for the winter months to just you know taking each season each moment that I can to also prepare myself for when it is cooler outside and so I love just being able to bring the outdoors in you know there's little things that we can do to to enjoy the moments like making warm hot chocolate for my girls especially after they were outside getting cold and dirty hands while helping me dig those tulip bulbs into the ground and it's just a special treat to let them enjoy a honey sweetened homemade hot chocolate and i think that's just a memory that they will cherish and enjoy i think in our days as homemakers we sometimes try to just get everything done all at once or feel like if we didn't get this certain thing done 
right away in the morning we just feel beat but that's not the case especially for the stay at home homemakers it's mid morning and we're doing our preschool now i usually like to do it right after breakfast but today we enjoyed learning about planting tulip bulbs and doing outdoor activities and it's also a task i wanted to get done so i was able to check two things off my list at one time Tra teaching the girls having them get outside and getting a task done i wanted and then we had collected some fall leaves on some walks we took and we're just making some leaf art and so getting creative in that way just honestly enjoying the moments with my kids that I have because this stage won't last and it just makes me I know I'm postpartum so it makes me a little emotional to know this is not going to be forever this stage they're going to be teenagers and want to do some of their own things at some time in their life but right now they need mom okay I enjoy just doing things from scratch. So digging up those carrots, digging up the potatoes to make a fall inspired soup, a red a bean soup that is just going to be hearty and delicious for a kind of fall day. And so I do the prep during nap time and it just kind of is a relaxing thing for me to make food for my family during nap time. And that's something too that just sets my mind at ease to not feel overwhelmed. But no, I am making a from scratch meal for my family. I have the time during naps and I can do this to serve my family best for our health and for our body. Oh, and I do have some yogurt that is in the slow cooker that is finishing up right now that I am making too. But then also just taking time to enjoy some decaf, French press, and sitting on the couch to edit or read a book or take a nap, nurse my four-month-old. You know, those are just the moments to take in and enjoy. One thing I've been trying to do for myself is to not check my phone so much. And this is a hard thing. I know a lot of us are on social media, um, but I am not a Facebook person unless I'm on Facebook Marketplace. I don't really look at it. I don't check it. Instagram is a place where I am a little bit more. But truly, when I'm with my kids, I try not to open up my phone to check things and I want them to see that I am present with them when I am um, in their presence. So I think something that's important to know is um, that is what sometimes brings us down or for me I can compare to all these beautiful homemaking reels and feeds that I have on my Instagram and just think oh I don't do enough. Oh I don't do certain things with my kids either. But just to know, like I've said, what you're doing is enough. Don't feel that overwhelm that can really put pressure on us. Our homemade food is being served up now with that delicious soup. Some homemade biscuits that weren't perfect, but it is hearty. It is filling. And I am so grateful to be able to be home to prepare my food for my family in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. even just enjoying the little outings like to a farmer's market is something that just is so freeing to be looking at all this beautiful produce that we can get and to enjoy and know that I can bring this home to my family and we will be eating on this for several weeks and that some of it will be put into canning some will be fresh and just enjoying the outdoor blooms the certain season you're in just take each day at a time and enjoy what each season brings. Take the time to reset your kitchen each night, to just spot clean the floors, reset your sink, get those dishes cleaned up. You know, that will help with your overwhelm for the next day. Take out the garbage, especially when it's warm out, it gets stinky fast. But just to make your home ready for the next day helps us feel less overwhelmed in the morning. So we are ready to be present with whoever we are with 
um, whether we're homeschooling, whether we're with our husbands, whether we are just going to care for our homes, whether we are going to go to work, but just resetting the home each night for the next day is something that I think is so important. And so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this beautiful fall day and enjoying just seeing what I do to take in each moment as it comes.